Good morning. So it's around 5.30 a.m. and I am going to be doing the first ever 10,000 calorie durian challenge that's ever been done on YouTube. And I'm here in Koh Phangan, Thailand. It is the peak of the durian season at the moment. If you want to join me on this journey, make sure you watch it from start to finish. And I'm quickly going to show you a load of the durians, well all of the durians that I've got at the moment. We're probably going to go and get some more later. But yeah, this is going to be really, really fun and it's going to be a very interesting challenge. So here is an abundance of durian bun. The seed has come from the wild and then people plant it in their gardens. So you're just gonna get so many different durians from these trees. They're all called durian bun. There's so many people selling on this island and they all taste different. And as you can see, they're all starting to crack open. The reason why they're all spread out is because if they were all together, they would have ripened even quicker. And this is an operation where I'm trying to make sure it's all ripe, but not overripe. So yeah, that's what we got outside, and then I'll show you what I got in the fridge. So take a quick look in my fridge. As you see, there's durian all there, there, so, so in the bottom, there, and just in case we don't have enough, which I think we have, there is also durian that I've taken out of the shell that's just in an absolute abundance in here. So now, I'm gonna show you my weight before I start eating, and then I'm gonna show you my weight at the end of the day, and then I'm gonna show you what my body looks like before and afterwards as well. At 65.4 kilos. First I wanna say it's not the best lighting, but yeah, this is what I'm looking like at the moment. Still pretty lean and ripped. And what I wanna say is I've hydrated with a lot of water this morning, so I do have a bit of water retention. But yeah, that's how flat my belly is. I'm not sucking the at all. As you can see, pretty damn flat, very visible abs, still looking pretty damn good. Later right on, it's gonna get big, big, big durian belly, because I'm gonna be creating a durian baby throughout the day. So, here is all the durian that is least in the shell, and other one that's in the freezer that's out of the shell, it's still in there, obviously. This is around, estimately, 25 kilos of durian. A lot of it's starting to crack open, which it will lose a bit of its smell and its taste, but that's okay. So some of them that are really cracked open might not be good, we might just throw them away, we check. I'm looking forward to this. And now I'm gonna show you the time and date, and this is set automatically by my phone. My phone's connected to the internet, so you can see that I'm not cheating, and I am doing this all within one day. This is automatically set there, and then if you lock, my phone, it says it's 6.09 Wednesday, 24th of July. So yeah, I'm gonna start eating this all in a second. And how I'm gonna work out how much I'm having is get it out of the shell, weigh it with the seed, and then what I would do is get all the seeds, and remember the total weight of all of the durian I've eaten, then when I weigh the seeds, minus it off of the total weight when it was the flesh with the seeds. So I can know exactly how much I'm getting. No guesstimating here. So I'm gonna start cracking them open and putting them on the plate. And I use this camera to show you closer. That's what it's looking like. It's more white than it is yellow, even though it's quite yellow on there. So yeah, we've got this turning on and I'll show you once it's all done. Twelve seconds later. There is the durian, just over three kilos. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to eat all of that in one sitting, but we shall see. I'm not trying to eat 10,000 calories in one hit or all, not this is 10,000 calories. But I'll quickly switch to my phone and show you the exact weight so you know that I'm telling the truth. As you can see there, 3.058. And man, this stuff is ooey gooey gooey. Some of it's perfectly ripe, some of it's overripe, but in all, it's Looking pretty damn good. Starting time, 6.26. I want to try and eat as quick as possible, I'm going to enjoy it, but to be honest, most people say I eat really quick. So, mm. That one, super creamy. Not like really strong in sweetness, but it's really thick and fatty. Tastes good. And yeah, durian, because it's super high calorie, it really warms up your body. So you normally see a lot of people drinking cold liquors with it, but I don't because then I get really, really full. So I'm pretty much gonna drink almost no water or no water throughout the day. I just hydrated well, well, well before. And if people wanna know, literally down my road, there's like tree after tree after tree of durian trees in people's gardens. So this is all grown down the road. So, 
Yeah, super, super good. All organic. Organic, my mouth was stuck over the durian. I've seen the trees, looked at them. So good. Well, this really big one that's more of a darker yellow reminds me of Chani. Oh, wow, that one's so sweet. Wow, so good. And if you know what durian bun is, durian bun is if you wear a seed has been taken from nature and then plant it in someone's garden and then grow. What you're going to find is there's so many durian buns around, growing around the whole of Thailand, quite well, a lot of places in Thailand, like everywhere. And you'll try durians from it and they all taste different. Unlike these cultivated, well, what you could say is these types of durians like Montom, Chani, Ganyao, where they have a tree, they take a part of the tree, graft it onto another tree, and it's just going to be the same durian over and over again. Where durian bun is not like that at all. And I have tried some of the best durian in the world in many different places, such as Malaysia. If you haven't seen my Malaysia vlog, which is like durian heaven, check that out by clicking link up above. But some of this local stuff is some of the best stuff that I've ever had. I'm sorry for not wearing a t-shirt. I've got the doors closed, windows are closed. Kind of the air con on, be too loud. It will just mess up the audio. And I'm already sweating so much. I was gonna wear a t-shirt, but yeah, I'm sorry if I offend anyone. It's just, I'm so, so hot. It would just be too much, especially if eating the durian as well, which can increase my body even further. About uh, halfway through, it's getting to that point, and I know this is what happens with durian when I eat a lot. If I'm not full on, but it's getting to that point where it's getting a bit sickly because it's just sweet, 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 sweet. I'm distracted whilst eating, which will make it easier to finish this. YouTube, my favorite. And yeah, I don't normally eat at 6 a.m. I normally eat at like 10 to 12, so this is really early for me. I'm struggling a little bit now, but I can definitely keep on pushing through because, yeah, it's just my mind's limitations and you can always go further than what you realise of anything, whether it's exercise, eating, or anything else that you just want to push yourself to your limit. Oh, and the rules of this challenge, for me and if anyone else can do it, you're only allowed to eat durian. It has to be its whole form, not in smoothies or anything like that. That is pretty much the rules. Right, I'm actually going to have a little break. I'll probably come back to this in a short while. I'm going to check the weight and put the seeds on and then let you know the weight. So it's now 6.52, that was around 27 minutes that that took. And now I'm gonna input this into my calculator and then I'm gonna make myself a workout exactly how much I've eaten. So there's a the weight, so I had just under 1.1 kilos. Okay, so that's definitely nowhere near the amount of calories I'd ideally like it to be at whatsoever. So looks like we're gonna continue going. Get in there. Not that much left, but it feels like it's a lot to me right now. And if I was to say like I have a hundred percent, how full am I? I would say like 70 to 80 percent, but hundred percent being how much am I like full of sweetness? It's like a hundred percent of the limit, like 110 percent. It's just like, oh, I just felt really savory and salty. Yeah. Oh, Whew. definitely makes it more challenging. So yeah, I'm stopping definitely break for a while now. It's about another 200 grams, so I add that on, and I'll show you the total with the other bit that I had before having a break. So here's the total macros, and it's now 
7.05. So we've still got lots of time left. Got about an additional 8,000 calories to go. Might be able to do it, might not. To be able to do it, we shall just see. But yeah, just trying to have some fun and hope you'll enjoy the video. So yeah, catch you in a bit. Big load of interval running cardio on the beach. And we're back about just over two hours later, as you can see there. Definitely not feeling hungry, but definitely can eat. There's the rest from earlier on. That is gonna be added to this plate first. And then we've got a load doing here. And what I say is, I knew earlier on the ones that I was first having weren't gonna be the best ones because they were very, very ripe. So I've got some that are like that now, but then I've got some of the best, best ones as well. Because it's better to leave the best ones to last rather than the not so good ones to last because it's gonna be harder to finish them. So yeah, as we go on for this video, they should consistently start to get better and better and better because I'm making the right choices to make it get better and better and better, so it makes it easier for me. This little white one is so tasty. I've had this one before, this durian bun. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So weight 2.730 kilograms, and this is what it looks like up close and personal. See, it's ooey gooey gooey, soft and ripe, nim nim sud sud. Let's start. And this time, the first we start watching most Korean fire noodles ever eaten 15 packs by Matt Stoney, one of the biggest competition eaters ever. Man, it's hard, not just because there's a lot of food to eat, but there's a noisy streamer outside, so I've got the hot heat in the middle of the day just being all over me, with no windows open, no air con, way hot this morning, and it's making me want really, really cold water. Like, I need to get in the sea again after this, I already went in the sea earlier. Um, and what I want to say is, a lot of people do these calorie changes, 10,000 calorie changes with junk food, that's so much easier than trying to do it with like whole foods that are nutritious, such as this durian. But yeah, let's continue. Halfway through it's now 9.56, I started around 9.30, 9.35. And yeah, I'm gonna check, see how much I've eaten so far. It was 2703, 2111, not as much as I'd like to be gone. But yeah, it's starting to get very, very ooey gooey, especially because I've just moved it to that plate, back to that plate, because I had an issue with the weighing. And then in a short while, I'm gonna come back and eat it because I need a little bit of a break. My body is really hot and I need to get in a cold shower to cool me down. Okay, so the plan is I'm not going to eat any more now because if I don't pace myself and just keep forcing, 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 I'm 100% going to fail without a doubt. So yeah, I was going to do some cardio, but what I'm going to do is actually let this durian digest a bit, then go do some cardio, then go buy more durian, then come back and then start eating because I'm starting to realise I actually need way more durian than what I have because some of it isn't right. But yeah, there's the damage so far. See all the shells on the floor. So yeah, catch you in a bit. Now in this wonderful, wonderful jungle, there's got a waterfall as well, but because it's a very high heat season at the moment, there's no water there, which is all good. But yeah, I'm gonna do about an hour of a 
walking to burn off calories so it's easier to eat more later on oh and what i forgot to say earlier there's also a rule and something i want to mention is as many people will know that watch my channel on a regular basis that i really focus upon sharing information to optimize people's health help them get the fitness levels they want energy levels in the body they want as well so what it says you don't want to be doing things like i'm doing now where you're eating a calorie surplus like every day not everyone's going to go and eat 10,000 calories but a lot of people eat more calories in the burning and then you end up gaining weight and there's a really amazing way that i stay very very lean all year round that's for intermittent fasting if you want to know about that talk about that in full details in a video that i link up above so yeah i'm going to get on with this because yeah don't want to go on too much this is not a vlog video it's meant to be me eating 10,000 calories a day so yeah get on with this walk and go find more durian and then feast i am waiting for this vendor to actually be selling this durian because they're not at the moment but if you can see i'm sure you can this durian tree is a abundant there is so much up there Okay, so it's now 1.55. I've drunk some water because I've got so dehydrated. My friend Adam came hey. with me. Helped me pick loads of durian. We couldn't find any, and he said, let's go here. And he was right, he knew where some was. So some of the market, we, wasn't it? Yeah, that was good. So yeah, 1.55. So I got a load from earlier. He's also gonna open some we just bought, and that's the durian bun. Still feeling so dehydrated, like crazy. I shouldn't have done that really intense exercise earlier, but I will live and learn. Oh, lost a little bit of durian on the floor. Yeah, looks super gooey. They reckon this one's a Monton. I think it's a other variety of Monton. I forgot the name. Good golden one. How's that taste and what the texture like? Pretty sweet, creamy, really soft flesh. A lot of flavour? Yeah, real wrinkly. Yeah, wrinkly like my grandma. It's the perfect looking dirty. <laughs> Whoa. A little bit over. See, a little bit over. It's got a little bit watery on one side. But that's okay, but yeah, huge pods. Because we're used to eating the durian bun now, that just looks humongous. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and that ain't Monton at all. Monton doesn't come out of colour. Monton comes out of way lot of colour. That's got like orange tinges to it. By the way, I'm not taking part in the challenge. I'm just no. here, here for moral support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, look at that one. That's the daddy. Literally. That look. Wow. <laughs> Take some of that and see what it tastes like. Oh. Yeah, definitely a little bit. Just still be. Okay. It smells so good. Yeah. My house looks like an ape come through with durians and just threw everything everywhere. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yep. Two, three, four, two. Four. Okay, so there's the weight for that one. Two point three four three. So yeah. And my nose one. Seriously, look at them. Wow. It's not really fatty, but it's still thick, but it dissolves mm. easier in your mouth. It's actually a little bit like vanilla cream, mm. like sweet vanilla cream. No, no! Ball <laughs> That is insane. Oh, that's a huge mouth. When I have a big mouth, there's so much in it. I'm nowhere near full, my body's just like, I just don't want durian, that's all. It's funny, I've never had this before, I've eaten lots of durian, but it's like, I've got to the point where I don't even like the texture. Really? I'm like, oh, please, I'm It might be a way to put you off of food. Like when you're younger, you drink so much of one drink and then you can never drink it again. <laughs> I did that with Jack Daniels and some, <laughs> some comfort. The smell of it will be sick now. Oh, this is getting extreme. <laughs> So I can look at this and it's like someone that's like the bo bottom of Mount Everest and they've got to climb it. It's like, oh my, am I ever going to be able to do this? Imagine a texture of a few food that you don't like and then you've got thousands of calories to eat it. That's well. 
just like ooey gooeyness is not appealing to me right now. How are you feeling physically? Good. Good physically. Yeah. Not full. Like I'm probably like sixty percent full. So I'm not really full. <coughs> Okay, so that's what's left for now. I can't go any further for now. 1.586. Time is 2.29. Man, this is just getting really, really crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this at all, but man, look at this fire. Absolutely covered in the during. Ah, and that's what I need to say is here's the total carbs, fats, and protein for this meal and the calories. And then shortly after, the total calories is where I'm at again. They're slowly. But surely. Because it's so hot in the day, Drew makes you hot. I've been doing exercise, I've been getting so dehydrated, so I've drunk so much liquid. And now I feel so full. I feel like an absolute well. I don't feel like I can eat anything else. My body and mind is going, no, I don't eat anything else. I'm not sure if I can continue this challenge. But yeah, you will find out later if I do continue or not. But I'm gonna go to the beach. That's the damage so far. I can't believe it's only 4,000 calories. You think it's more than that? That is absolutely crazy. I actually thought that would probably be around 10,000 calories. That's one reason why I thought it was gonna be easy than it was that I underestimated and it's just like we're doing some seeds are bigger some pods are bigger it's just like pff, it's hard to really get a good estimate of how many calories you're gonna have with the amount of durian you got yeah there's no way I can eat anymore I'm so hot and so dehydrated I've drunk so many liquids and I've still got like the worst dry mouth ever if I've been smoking something like quite a few people out there like to get high I don't do that or I'm not into it but I'm sure you know what I mean dry mouth from that and I don't want to see durian or sweet fruit ever again at the moment if you offered me like salty cooked food I'd have it right now but it's just got to that point where it's like the sweetness is just like no my body's like no more sweetness at all and that's what you see with a lot of competition eaters and people do calorie changes they switch between sweet and savory sweet and savory i've done it before it makes it way easier to eat okay so this is what i'm looking like at the end of the day now you can see my belly is very very round got a lot of water retention and look that belly like it may not look like i'm really big but it's because i've got a low body fat percentage but yeah definitely can't see my abs nowhere near as much as earlier Definitely not as visible. Definitely feeling really, really full. But yeah, you can still see my abs a bit. But yeah, still look pretty decent. But it will go down by the morning once it all starts to digest and be eliminated. First, gonna put the weight of what I was before in case you don't remember. And now you're gonna get to see what I look like afterwards. So 68.4 kilos, so yeah, definitely gained a lot. I brought a load of durian for them to eat here. Yeah. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day. And yeah, sorry I didn't even get halfway, but yeah, I did the best I'm gonna do, and I don't want to get to the point where I'm literally sprouting up, which I will get to that point. I'll wait a little while and then drink loads more coconut water and other various things. Catch you all on the flip side. Any questions leave down below, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to, yeah receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis so make sure when you subscribe you click the bell notification button next subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you when new videos are uploaded and yeah this tropical beach that we are on is beautiful it's bright in the background so, so it's rare for a lot of people yeah. to see a very young child eat durian but fofo who is four years old yeah loves durian don't you fofo mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> doesn't taste bad at all does it it tastes good yeah <laughs> good it's a loy mark mark Roy. It doesn't have any programming that is weird to texture or anything like that. Just tries it, embraces it, and loves it. Okay, so I wanted to come to the beach, meet up with friends, and yeah, there's no way I can eat anymore. I'm so hot and so dehydrated. I've drunk so many liquids, and I've still got like the worst dry mouth ever. If I've been smoking something, like quite a few people out there like to get high. I don't do that or I'm not into it, but I'm sure you know what I mean, dry mouth from that. And I don't want to see durian or sweet fruit ever again at the moment. If you offered me like salty cooked food, I'd have it right now. But it's just got to that point where it's like the sweetness is just like, no, my body's like, no, more sweetness at all. And that's what you see with a lot of competition eaters and people do calorie changes. They switch between sweet and savory, sweet and savory. I've done it before. It makes it way easier to eat food. So we're here with Jin and our lovely son. And I brought a load of durian for them yeah. to eat here. Let's not put that there. And we're here in a group of people well I have a group message for Kofi Yang and I said to people there are loads of fruity people in it come and get a durian I'm bringing loads to the beach I as much as I could but I still got about another 70 kilos at home so I'm gonna do a durian party tomorrow so people can feast on that and just give it away for free which is nice and yeah get some good karma for that so yeah I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day and yeah sorry I didn't even get halfway but yeah I did the best I'm gonna do and I don't want to get to the point around literally sprouting up which I will get to that point so yeah, did my this best. Really it was good. fun. So I'll take but now it's the end. Okay. So yeah, I'll wait a little while and then drink loads more.
coconut water and other various things so yeah catch you all on the flip side interesting down below don't forget to like share and subscribe to yeah receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis so make sure when you subscribe you click the bell notification button next to subscribe button otherwise youtube will not notify you when new videos are uploaded and yeah this tropical beach that we are on is beautiful it's bright in the background so you can't see it so well but yeah enjoy the rest of your day make the most of it yeah hmm. you just had the best day ever Peace.